Hello, in this clip I will make an overview of the top products editor. After installing the plugin, you can see the shortcut link in the top admin panel of the WordPress, as well as the WooCommerce products section. Once you get to the plugin page, the first thing you will see there is the products and the default data columns. Uh, on the top, you can see these columns. And these columns are managed in the settings tab where you can change the order of already active column and also enable new ones. So you can change order, enable new ones, or enable using quick search, for example. Let's, for example, enable down all columns related to the downloads. Saving. And let's wait a little. Now we can manage the data that relate to the product's downloads. Any cell editing is subordinary to the next algorithm. Click Enter the data. Press Enter on your keyboard. For drop down, it's click Select. For switchers, click. If you want to step editing of the text inputs while you make it, you can press escape button or click somewhere on the empty space. To read text data where there can be a large amount of text, use this native WordPress editor. For example, description. Click on the content button and change the data on the product's edit page and change the data as on the products page apply make your attention that you able to add any objects from the media gallery as files so images the same way you do it on the products edit page also if any plugins connected with the products editor their button will be also visible here. For example, I installed one plugin uh, which allows to insert download shortcuts. Let's press it, select it, insert shortcut, apply. Let's check it. Is it safe? Yes, it's safe. Pay your attention to the numerical cells. When you hover the mouse on them, appears the icon of the calculator. Clicking on which appears the simplest calculator with, with which you can subtract, add values and percentages. So for example, let's add two. Let's add two to the regular price without routing. 102. Okay. Just now let's add 20% with rounding. What also is important, the sale price can be set relative to this regular price and vice versa. Let's check it. For example, let's set sale price as 80% of the, of the regular price. Regular price minus 80% and let's select rounding. OK. Done. So, regular price means 80%, and just now it is 20% of the regular price. Of course, you could also just enter values with your hands. Enter. The calculator is also convenient for simultaneous recalculation of prices for a small group of products. To do this, select the desired product on the current page. Let's check all. Then enable mini editing switcher. Then set here, for example, mm, by hand um, 20. 
everything will be changed to 20. Look your attention. Here is not 20 because sale price never can be the regular price. Ok, let's using calculator make it lower for 50% with routing. One moment. Uh, after bidded, after bidded editing operation, it disabled, disabled it to avoid confusing. Let's enable it and again do something with it. Okay, it's done. By the way, if you think you did something wrong with the data, history always will help you. As you can see, it's back again. Binded editing can be realized for all fields in the products editor. Let's activate some new cell columns. For example, say a calendar um, and what more? Cell calendar categories and we have Ok, let's just activate on the calendar. Why I'm doing this? To demonstrate two types of cell. So we now, this is thumbnail, clicking, changing, select, change it, content, clicking, do something, press apply, type, it's just um, drop down, let's select like drop it, or simple. And as you can see, regular price and sell price appeared. For the simple type because it's not exist for variable in the variable pro, uh, products price is in their variations status draft painting review private publishing if it's possible to change sell price or regular price we can do it if not we can see the such sign gallery it's something special when you clicking on the gallery we can uh, see the product images, which we can reorder, remove, or even add new more. Categories. Categories we can change for the current products using pop-up. For example, imagine that we have a lot of categories. In such, in such case, quick search will help us. Also, we can add new term. For example, if you need to add new term, we can do it in the uh, directly in this pop-up. For example, any new category we want to add, create, apply. This new category we can uh, select already for all and other products. Files. Download files. It's also pop up where we can reorder items, remove items if we need, and of course add new items. Apply. Such uh, such cells as attributes has their own way for editing. It multi drop down. When we click it, we can remove and press save. We can select new and press save. And if we click it, in, we can cannot see, in this case, color which we need. For example, black color. We can create it just now. Let's write black, create, save. Whoa. One moment, save. And if you want to create two colors on the same time, I mean two attributes, black one, 
semi uh, comma simple comma black two one moment three create okay press save and uh, just new created terms already for selection in another products what about calendar just press select data here we can see arrows for the months and arrows for the year select data press ok if you want to clear press clear it's clear one another thing make your attention on the main thing of on in the top product editor as tools panel this is tools panel first button allows you to make the products table wide more wide let's click on it second uh, second button allows to load predefined and saved by you column set for example let's now demonstrate how loading predefined profile prices and we can see uh, all predefined it and we can see another columns which belongs to the profile prices and for example if you want to modify it we can do it directly here for example let's select categories and for future we can save it as new as new profile for example prices plus categories any name which will be informative quite informative for you save so let's load another profile and uh, we decided to load prices in categories quickly without going to the settings selection this yes it's uh, more easier to load the profile let's select it load let's wait page reloading and now we can see prices and categories which we added previously another button filter profiles filter profiles allow us not each time go to the filter form and do something here it allows us filter products instantly for example let's select here predefined variable products load and just now we can see only variable produce in this shop you can see it's all it's selected here just now let's create new profile which has variable products belongs to the hoodies hoodies categories filter okay press this button let's write new title save okay save so in the future we will decide to load only variable products belongs to the hoodies categories we should just apply this profile load and make your attention to reset filtering we can press this, this button or this button this button is more convenient next variation advanced bulk operations this video i will not describe it because it describe it in all another in another video and shortly this this functionality allows to manipulate by variations of variable products next create new product when i pressing this button we can create new new products what is will be interesting we can create in the same time two new products if we will need it of course so let's wait of course we can see and we can see these new products variations variations one more variation is a switcher which allow us to see variable products variation and make any editing just here escape
to remove selection, selection of the products, just click on this button. And what's more, when we have selected variable products, when we have enabled variations feature, we can select all variations using just one of these buttons. Select all variations and deselect it if we need it. BDT editing, I already demonstrated you with the variations and can demonstrate another, another one where and can demonstrate it again. For example, we want to add 20% to all regular prices to the products and what about to select this group? Uh, press first but, uh, product, press shift button on your keyboard and click on the last product. Then enable binet editing. Click on the calculator of any selected product. Enter 20 pair cents. Select rounding, for example, rounding for the cent. And press apply. And why wait uh, while operation is going? Just now we can see that we added 20% and rounded prices to the regular prices. Deselect. Make your attention when you select something, appear some buttons. Duplication. So we can enter. We can see two duplicated products. And one more thing after duplicating, we can see that ordering changed to ID. It allows to see new products which we just uh, got with operation duplication. Next, we can select products and press delete. So, deletion is just the deletion of the selected products. This button means I check all selected products. It just means a checking, and that's all. Let me show you some hints. For example, we have a lot of columns, quite a lot of columns. And uh, we are going to edit this cell, but to which product this cell belongs and what really this is a cell? It's a price or something else. Look on the top, just here. When I hover the mouse on any cell, I on the top I can see uh, to which product this cell belongs and what this cell means. For example, just now I can see re for regular price which belongs to the product. 3741 bini copy and can do something with this so it makes navigation more simply with the data we can each time we can understand where we are now and one other thing for example we have a lot of products and we are on the same bottom of the page to back to the top of the page we can click on the empty space of the horizontal admin bar In this video, I think it's all. Thank you. Bye.